come on in, because you're just in time for me to tell you about our sponsor, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, not only do you never have to go to the grocery store again, but it makes all of your summer meals so much easier to choose from. With dietary restrictions, vegetarian, pescatarian, high protein, low calorie, and even new vegan options. And it's super simple too. Every single one of your meals is going to come with a card that gives you detailed instructions on how to prepare your meal, even if you're a complete novice. Super easy. It's like Ikea, but it tastes better. And it's food. When you're building your Schwollkuchen, then you're, uh, you know, you, you could be eating a spicy chili pork bowl instead. All of the ingredients are super fresh, straight from farm, right to your table, into your face. And a big bonus, the box makes a great house for your cats. And with HelloFresh, you never need to worry about food waste. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to the grocery store and just ended up with brown arugula just because I never use it in time. HelloFresh sends you everything you need in exact portions so you don't end up like me. So thank you once again to HelloFresh for providing me a delicious meal and for sponsoring this video. Be sure to use the code BENTO16 at checkout to get yourself 16 free meals plus free shipping. You can leave now. <laughs> so thank you once again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. And be sure to use the code BENTO16 at checkout to get yourself 16 free meals plus free shipping on your order. Imperfect cell and this opener one of my favorites that we have ever done uh, I, I I love stupid creature feature flick, so I'm glad we got a Jeepers Creepers 2 <laughs> Reference in on this sucker. Mm -hmm. I I'm really proud of the edit on this one the edit on this was really really tough And it came out looking splendid. This is I'm so I, happy dude when his head whips around I mean we'll get to that But oh my god the this, sound and just the look of it I, I'm also gonna give you full credit for all the uh, arrow signs with all the different sounding signs. Oh, yeah, so that's that was just like I even me, that, was, I was, that was my favorite that was my favorite bit like that uh, like but <laughs> I, but more than that, we just get to see Cell alone. trying to scramble around and just be the monster that He's, he is. Cell's alone by himself. And I think this one ends on mm. uh, one of our favorite gags too. Doesn't this one end with the radio? Oh, if oh you my say God! Gag, if it does, you say gag. Hold on. If that if this is the episode mm -hmm. where it ends on that, I'm gonna be so happy because it's, that it's, is. Uh, it's either it is. this one that ends on the radio this or the 46. This, this is the one. Okay, well, this you know is what? The one that, well, I I know all the imperfect cell episodes. Yeah, th um, I'm, pretty, actually, I'm pretty sure this is the one. <laughs> oh my yeah, this, God! Okay. This is kind of like a big imperfect cell episode. This there was this was there was a certain contentious part about this because some of these ep some of the parts of this episode are filler ep some filler material. For me, I I will admit. I was pushing for more Imperfect Cell. Whenever Imperfect Cell is on screen, people should be going, where's, where's Imperfect Cell? Cell? Which is what happens in this episode. Yeah. Where is he? Where is he? I, I'm, I'm unfamiliar. As somebody who read the manga, do they show as much of Imperfect Cell doing his hunting stuff as they no. do, or do they leave him in the background and the heroes are just hunting and just hearing about it? You, you get to see a fraction of what they show in the anime, which honestly, if the anime was going to expand on anything, this was good stuff to expand on. Actually, it's it's very interesting because the Cell Saga, its use of like additional footage, like like the only filler in the entirety of the Android Saga that I think is absolutely un like unforgivable are those three dudes at the tournament. Mm. They are the worst additions to the entire series. <sighs> to, the, to this day, nobody gives you enough credit for eliminating them entirely. Except for that one Except shot. Except for one shot that where one the ghosts shot. of their where their ghosts yeah, their ghosts the very yeah. battle. Well, there was so much power level stuff going on that their spirits were like trapped there, but, and then that's why they had to stay there. Yeah, but honestly, um, otherwise, I am really happy that like this arc, this and the anime was like. We're just gonna add a bunch of stuff that kind of feels like it's missing. And Cell it allows us to give Cell some more personality and more time to shine before he rapidly changes into a worse character. And then a much, and then a perfect character. Right. But man, that second form is. I, I will still maintain that Perfect Cell is his weakest of the three forms. Really? It, I, I don't know, man. Just in the look, here's, here's my problem. We'll talk about this again when no, we we're get to Imper when, when we get to Semi Perfect Cell. But he shows up. He, he's immediately presented as a threat, but then gets nothing but bitch slapped the entire time. Mm -hmm. uh, true, it is absolutely a curb stomp. But at the very least, he's not just 
kind of more boring Frieza. Mm. He's, he just kind of stands first there form, like... Why, first, first, first form cell is a predator creature hunting. Yeah, and which it's, is it, great. Which is, he's like literally, the, oh, we're about to start here. He's, he's, he's such a good character that they whole hog rip him off for the Eternals. Is that actually he's, what happened? He's basically the he's basically the antagonist in the Eternals. Yeah, that's true. It, it, they got me. It's because they said that they had that one guy from Game of Thrones, and I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of things I'm willing to suck when that's he's top of the list of the suck jobs. But by the way, it will not surprise you that the director for Eternals is a huge anime fan. That doesn't shock me at all. The the movie shows a lot of influence. He called there. me. <laughs> but, uh, shall, uh, but shall we yeah, get cracking I, into it? I'm just I want to get started personally. Let's, I'm, I'm let's do it. I'm an eager beaver. Take it away, Roshi. The following is a fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT. Some good prospector oh, voice there. Yes, sir! Yes, yes, some... just, look, man, this is just my impression of what I was given. It started from a... Sass... Yeah. Sasparilla. Sasparilla! Yes. <laughs> ah, coming! Imperfect Cell theme. A great theme. Yeah, here we go. All right. So South City is to the north, north, north City, City is to the west, and, and East City is also to the north. Where the, the fuck, fuck am, am I? I? I love that. I love that so I much. I was genuinely confused when I got the line. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, oh, Battle Ball. Yes. Now that's some filler. I need to ask you to move on. Who do we get to play the driver? Because he does a great job here. Game today against the West uh, I do not remember. I actually can't remember play. either, and I feel oh, so bad. Yeah. That's cute. It's in the credits of the description. I am now going to start applying the horn. He's so polite. <laughs> I am now going to use it again. <laughs> I will now continue to use the Cell's just ignoring him. He's just... Move. One thing I also really love about this season is we get to spend a lot of time with the citizens of the mm. Dragon World. In no other season have we ever been able to do that. We just get to see how these normal people live in this really weird, fucked up world. The, yeah. The first saga, you know, this is kind of... We, get, we have all the different bullet points, all the different directions. Namek, we're on Namek. But the, as you say, this is the first one we're on Earth. Humans are walking around. Heck, we had, you, had, you already did the review of the episode. I don't care how many people I have to kill as long as you are one of them! Yeah. yeah. In the Saiyan saga, obviously, it's a lot of training. Then the Saiyans show up and not a lot of humans. Namek! Well, yeah. But, but this season, you get, like... You see so many towns of so many people and just get interactions between so many of the people. And, I mean, this entire chunk here is about Cell hunting them down. So you get to actually see our weird vision of their society. It is, uh, it is, I, I don't even know. I can't imagine the politics it. of this world where there's a king that's a dog. I'm just like, well, what led to this? I mean, I feel like we should elect a dog as king. Good breeding. Good, ah, uh, that's good. Go. Good, 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 good grooming. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. I love that. <laughs> he just stops for a moment. Uh, Feed me. <laughs> this, is, this is so Acme. I love it. <laughs> okay, he stopped. No, oh, sound effect. <laughs> uh, I just need to find my brother and sister before. This is me. Yep. You ain't no casa. Get off the road. Else me and the boys are gonna have to make your face look like, like your ass. ass. And your ass, ass look, look like, like your face. face! By the way, <laughs> that sensor there. Also, also Nappa with a beanie. That's right! I have a beanie. We censored this shot. guy because if you ever see the footage, it, his head is just a dick. It's his a head dick. looks like a penis. It's, it's, look, he's got it this is, little divot it's, it's, in the middle. Yeah, it, it's got the little, like, it has the urethra just sticking right there. It's literally like that one scene from The Last Airbender where that girl's hair is definitely a dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the movie, yeah, 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 the, yeah. yeah. Hey, you. I want to make a joke about your team. What's its name? The City, City Westman. Westman. Hoo-ha. Oh, I am too hungry for this shit. <laughs> they all just stand there. Um... Yeah, they all just stand there, I guess, you know? Yeah, the, well, the driver's trying to work at it. Beep, beep! beep. <laughs> He's like, all right, in for a penny. Such a great opener. I love that cut. It's like, ha-ha! It just Come shows, to Papa. It shows how much of a monster he well, is. Well, he's literally a slasher character. Yeah. It's, if this was at night, it'd be even freakier. Also, yeah, the fact that we had Jeepers Creepers playing on the bus, just kind of nailing home the Jeepers Creepers 2 reference of the creature 
attacking things on a bus. Never seen Jeepers Creepers. It's not that it's, great. It's okay. It's uh, mid. It's it, mid. It, honestly, if you're in the mood for like a schlocky monster movie, you could do a lot worse. It's a it's a horror movie with a couple comedy cuts. It's weird. Yeah, I I, I personally like it. Jeepers Creepers too. Also pretty good. Rest of them, you can skip it. Nah. There were more? Oh, yes. yes. They made sequels to a horror movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn Here we go. Damn it, damn it. Wow, Piccolo's pulling at your dad. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! It was so hard to divide those two. We have this. You did a good job, though. You, Namekian! Too strong! Explain now! He fused with Kami so we could become strong. Here it comes. The f***'s the Kami! Basically God. But I'm still here! Do you really believe your own hype that much? I AM THE HYPE! <laughs> the line that launched a thousand shirts. This? It really did. Okay, so to talk about this line, now this was a perfect example of all three of us working together. Really great. This was all worked out. But I want to talk about the shirt design real quick, everybody. The I Am The Hype t-shirt. Now, the I Am The Hype t-shirt, we got, when we got to design... Oh, wait, what? Oh. Just looking for my water. I thought you had the shirt secretly. Surprise! No. The design, we, 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 after selling a bunch of shirts, we're like, okay, I think we know what we need to do for a shirt. Round the edges slightly. I Am The Hype. One color! Yep. Boom. And it was the number one seller for it's on Shark Robot. Still on, it's still on their front page whenever I look. Yeah, I think it is still. I think it's still our number. Well, and it's not currently our number one selling shirt. Of, that would be I, androids. Yeah, I, yeah. Thank you, by the way, for everybody that picked up the androids. Yeah. No, wow, you guys got it's, a lot of them. Thank I, you. That, that's the that man who stands. Design. Design. No, I want. You, I, I thought. I thought of that design when we like were doing the android song. I'm like. This is clever. I like this. Well, this. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks beautiful. I want everybody to have this. Oh. But it can but the I am the hype shirts cannibalize the Android sales in mm. a lot of ways. So now that that now that the Android shirts are taking off now, it's just it's fantastic. I'm, I'm, how that I'm actually out. genuinely curious out there. How many of you in the comments own an I am the hype shirt? Because we sold so many of those. They were always the first insane. one. That and Ghost Snapper were the two that always sold out immediately. And the logo. Yeah. The logo and the logo. And well. the logo. And the logo. That's correct. But yeah. I am the hype. Uh I, it's, such, it's, such a, it's such a goofy, dumb line that you just like said during scripting, and then I shouted it back. But not only did you shout it, but you also added like you, what you made. What made it work was him just yelling, "I am the hype." It's fine, but it's like there's in your performance, there's this denial that's in the back of the voice where you could hear it. He's like, "I," he's, 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 he's like, "It's not one." I am the hype. There's a little bit of denial in there, and he's just like, Ugh. "I'm proving it to myself so, too." Yeah, he's saying it more to himself than to everybody else. There's a part of me that wishes I'd had a better shot of Vegeta. Like the, the it's shot so there. Good, Yo, that's a great shot. Out of it. That's pretty. He's, he's, he's got hold spit on, pouring on. out of his face. Hold on, hold on. I guess. I guess. I. There we go. Yeah. What would you change from this? He's got the vein and everything. <laughs> I guess it's a good shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. There we go. Scott, you did a good job. <laughs> you did marvelous. Hey, finally found you guys. It's Chills <laughs> Actor. <laughs> screaming. What I miss? Pickle up fuse with Kami. Oh, that finally we came full circle. circle. <laughs> More importantly, there's a new oh, we got closure on that. That's neat. Another android created by Dr. Jerome. <gasps> and Vegeta just like... Do I hear fire? Are you fucking kidding me? My god! Oh, this scene. You have to come quickly. Aw, oh, but we're about to drink a lima bean and lentil smoothies. Yeah, they taste like vomit, but they keep me regular. I'm like a soft serve ice cream machine in the morning. <laughs> Damn. That may be one of the grossest jokes we've no, ever so made, gross. but I love it. I absolutely love so putting that visual image into people's bro, heads. Bro, she's like 300 years old. He needs it. Does he, he like poop like this? <laughs> gonna get the swirl with the perfect tip. <laughs> Put it on a cone. <laughs> this is why I'm a turtle. Breakfast. <laughs> Better not be that green shit again. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite Scott. <laughs> ah, let's be good commentaries, everybody. That's it. Scott's done. <laughs> I'm coming. He came. <laughs> I love playing Roshi. He's so fun. Mm. What a miracle we have witnessed. Allow me to go call the local news. Now, we don't have a lot of these, but there's actually a deleted scene version of this. Um, and uh, if you want to check it out over... Actually... Should we? Can we play it here? I wonder if we'll end up playing it here. Spicy? Nice you, yeah, maybe. Everyone, you have to come quickly. But what about our kale milkshakes? No time for those. Come upstairs. I'm coming. I'm coming. I came. <laughs> look! Look at Goku. Hmm. How exciting! I'll write about it on my blog. 
I've had to deal with him screaming bloody murder for the last three hours. I'll take what I can get. Die with Chi-Chi. This probably means Goku's almost all better. Which means he'll be able to fight those androids. With all this craziness going on, it'll be good to have him on the front lines again. Yamcha, as the man pig who has known you for longer than anyone else in this room, shut up. What? It's true. And Gohan will be by his side the whole time. Hey, Yamcha. Oh. When you fall asleep tonight, don't fall asleep tonight. Mom, I'm sure you just... Don't you ever make excuses for Yamcha. Neither of you are going to fight those crazy robots. We're all going to stay here, be nice and peaceful, and become doctor lawyer scientists. Yeah, that's great, Mom, but you know if you tell that to Dad, it's just gonna go in one ear and get bored and die. You can actually find it over on the main channel, the deleted scene. Um, we have a lot of deleted scenes over there, actually. Yeah. You can find a bunch. Like, we did a lot. I don't know if you know this, but we worked on this show a bunch and we had a lot of ideas that hit the cutting room floor. You Some of them made it into extra things. Yeah. It, that's, it, it, it is true, which is what Celloween was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of. Almost. Celloween was a planned special. That was, that was, we have a lot to talk about that. I we'll yeah. get there. Mm -hmm. I've had to deal with him screaming bloody murder for the last and three hours. It. I'll take what I can so get. Good. Oh, by oh, the way, I, I put I put uh, his in the glasses. His uh, face no wasn't originally in the glasses. In the glass. Okay. Oh, there wasn't that. Oh, wow. dreaming about. Yeah. Here we go. This is so cursed. Are you ready for an adventure? Sword guy Piccolo? Not as cursed as that. Wake up. The androids are. <laughs> it's Ninja Goku. Hey, pirate Goku. Let's go on an adventure. Nice touch on the four-star ball on his uh, mm. headband. Yeah. I think that was Stefan, actually. Oh, yeah, that's Either way. basically it in a nutshell. You mean yeah, a nutshell? Nut Shut up. I -oh! So if oh. Cell manages to find whatever he's missing, he'll become even stronger? I guess. He was pretty vague about it. No matter what, though, if he and the androids join forces, none of us will stand a chance. Says you. And here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. how many people you fuse with, you'll never be as strong as a Super Saiyan. Not really much of a milestone anymore. Which it really isn't at that point. It's true. The level beyond a Super Saiyan. Here we go. So what? <laughs> like a Mega Saiyan? Ultra Saiyan? <gasps> You're mocking me. Maximum Over, over Saiyan. Saiyan. off, Triclops. <laughs> Somehow that's my favorite line from Tenshin Han, by the way. Why do you antagonize him like that? You know he can kill you, right? At this point, it's, it's a, a game. game. If he gives in, I, I win. win. And, and he, he knows, knows that. Crazy thought. <laughs> if that sells from another timeline, then he's got to be one in this. Time. He's got him like <laughs> pretty sure red. That emotional episode you had earlier leveled Jiro's lab. Well, he was a mad scientist. Shot in the dark. Maybe he's got a basement. Ah, oh, crap baskets. Oh, you say that too. <laughs> All right, then. I love that. Go back to Jiro's lab. I'm going after Cell. I'm going with Trunks to go after Cell. And I'm, I'm going, going with Piccolo to go, go, go after, after Cell. Whenever Cell isn't on screen, right. people should be going, where's Cell? So, now that I have the chance to say this, um, sorry my dad killed Chiaotzu. Bruh. I wonder if that's the Kami in him. And you made it awkward. <laughs> I love... I don't know why we put that there. We just realized that Piccolo and Tin Shin Han were left standing there and we wanted to end on a joke. I think, I think, yeah, <laughs> I think we actually realized this is the first time they've ever, just the two of them have been alone in a room with them. It kind of I'm feels sorry like Sorry my that, dad killed Chiaotzu. I think that is the case. I don't, I cannot remember another time where they would have been alone with no, each there's other. other there, were always, there were rooms together or in the same place, but there was always other people there constantly. So this is like the first time it's, I think it's just the two yeah, of Piccolo's them. Piccolo's never apologized for killing everybody. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, this! Yes. Oh God! <laughs> this, this. Hey there, Jerry. What's your name? My name is Nikita. Who are you? Okay, pause. Hit pause. And you are okay, the there's two inspirations for this. So, um, like one of the big ones, I got to imagine is South Park and Cartman talking it's, to it's, talking it's, to his hand. And yeah, stuff. so that's Polly Princey Pants. It's what, what, Pants. What, what what Cartman does in South Park is he does voices that are clearly him for his stuffed characters and talks to them, and they're crazy because Cartman's insane. So for this, we kind of did that, and I based the voice kind of off that kind of interpretation. But in truth, the voice is meant to be more from <laughs> Teen Girl Squad from HomestarRunner.com. Oh, yeah, I can hear so it. Yeah. So good! So good! Yeah, 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 yeah. There's one thing we like doing. Arrowed. <laughs> Arrowed. <laughs> it's just, so this is a scene where we were able to showcase he is so insane that he will create a fake voice. And then that character will become so polarized to him that he gets into a fight yeah, with Yeah, he it. gets into an argument with this character he's that he is voicing. He's imperfect. 
He's not, he's literally a dis unstabilized experiment trying to find a power source, and it's just... Well, I mean, there's that, there's that whole other joke that you pitched that just would not work, like, we what, couldn't find a place for it, which is like... I don't uh, it, 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 was, it was Piccolo's like, do you hear the voices of the androids when you're, well, like, when you're walking in? I hear them all. I hear... It's just like that, yeah. that cat, the cacophony of screams of hell of all the people he's drank. Yeah. Just, what? Do you say that louder though? I can't. It's kind what? Of, what? It's just they're guys. Shut up for real. I'm, I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I, I have other things to do, guys. Guys, guys, guys. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't say that to every town. <laughs> Please absorb me. The wiggling of the don't tail. Worry. Good okay, shot for some. Do it. What I need you right now, Mr. Shell. Oh, okay, okay, I'm in the middle of the squint. Right now, Mr. Shell. Right now. That's I do what I want. <laughs> Man, that shredded me. I remember that shredding my throat. I remember that. Yeah. I was like, oh, did we get the take? Yeah, you got the take. Oh, it's good. Is this cold? We were here at noon. It was not this cold. <laughs> you need to warm up. Start looking. This is a cute moment. You know, I sometimes complain about our lifestyle. But honestly, shooting lasers is fun. Mm -hmm. Pachoo! 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 Are you making laser noises? All, All the time, time in my head! Why, Why is, is that, that weird? Pachoo! Pachoo! We can do that hey, with you? There okay. it is! Well, we can't climb down that, it's broken. Just come on. Which I believe is an actual box text that'll pop up in uh, Legacy of Goku uh Oh. Too. Really? Yeah. You can't That's go down. So, it's something like that. It's it's kind of weird that like you're not allowed to go back down there. It's broken. <laughs> they can fly. Yeah. I know. It's yeah. dumb. But it's also just a silly joke. Also, I don't know. It's hard to tell whether or not Krillin is being authentic there or, or being is. a smartass. And I love I, the fact that it's it's kind of vague. The way I'm delivering it, I like the the way I interpreted the line and the way I delivered it is he's being a smartass. But I, I like that it can be interpreted either way. Mm. Well, it's kind of the, the, the nebulousness of Krillin's delivery sometimes. Yeah. It's... Wee! <laughs> Wee! I need to ask you a favor. <laughs> if we find any more androids, <laughs> please don't tell my father. I, I swear, swear on my life. life. Unless he threatens my life. In which case. Okay, now I can't talk. Wow, Danger Will Robinson. Oh, Who's no. Robinson? Fuck. The you can hear my voice, right? Oh, shit. It really is not. Voice. Huh? Hey, so if I were a gambling man, huh? Oh my God! <laughs> it's adorable. Yeah. Well, time to waste it. it. No, wait. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Here we go. It's just, it's... These, these are the schematics for the androids. We could use these to find a way to turn them off. Don't ask how to turn them on. Don't ask how to turn her on. Don't ask how to turn Android 18 on. How do you turn Android, Android 17, 17 on? Shit! Also, it's a family guy joke, though. Basically. It, love, I love it. Okay, so what's great about this is this information about Lapis and Lazuli had just come out pre a few very, months ago. Very, very like recently, a year or so. yeah. yeah. Um, because these uh, came out as part of the uh, new colored, mon colored manga that they were putting out. Uh. They did a couple of interviews with Toriyama. And Toriyama just... Felt like adding shit, which I, I, sometimes I, that's know, good. Here, sometimes I, it's not. Here's my canon version of how that happened. So what do you have to talk about? Uh, just grabs his paper out. Um, These are their real names. Uh, their names were Lapis and Lazuli. Just like an old notes he had. Uh. Also, I'm gonna say this is the first time I've noticed the notes at the bottom. Who the devil names their children after crystals? It's like they wanted them to grow up to be strippers. <laughs> it's the first time I have actually read that. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's that's always been there. Um, <laughs> no, you just added it. <laughs> no, Scott, we saw oh. what you were doing earlier. You were editing and re-uploading this. Also, um, attempt 253. Yeah. Um, implying, as, as uh, Bulma will later say, he only numbers his successful uh, androids. Mm. Meaning, there are a lot of orphans. There's a lot of dead people. There's, there's a, a lot, lot of corpses of in the furnace. There's a lot of or or orphan corpses. Orpses, as he calls them. Well, that's right. What, did you not find the corpse? Well, that's usually buried beneath the basement. Damn it! I turned them into loam! <laughs> I didn't waste them, I recycled! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to our sponsor at Lomi. Can we get a sponsorship with Lomi? Somebody ch <laughs> Lomi, they don't kill kids that we know of. It's great for getting rid of organic matter, though. That's right, and we learned that from Breaking Bad. Now we'll never get a sponsorship. That's true. <laughs> this in Lazuli. And apparently, Android 16 was modeled after Jero's son. Also information. Yep. Are you making that up? It sounds, sounds like you're making that up. <laughs> no, it's all here, really. Well, okay. Grab those and let's kill Cell. Hold on, I I've been thinking. 
technically it's never done <laughs> here he comes so topical it have the right to life oh still God. topical it's right to life it's about making, making a, a choice. choice do it you a choice, choice we, we both need to make a choice between favor and mistake that can ruin lives and fuck it, I'm dropping the apprentices. We're aborting cells. <laughs> Thank you, Virginia. I remember what that in the scripting room was just right, like it's perfect. Let's get out of here before this place comes down on our heads. Sorry, just a little caught up in gloating. I, Woo! I just curly killed this top. Baby! <laughs> Welcome now, to that was like my one. Clinic. I swear to God, that was my only addition to this. <laughs> like, I feel like the, I wrote the La Vista the, baby. I feel like that was the only thing I did. The rest of the scene was you guys entirely. There is a version of that scene, a longer version that was probably never actually going to make it to screen, where uh, there were supposed to be picketers outside. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, 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 that was the. That was the. Right right like, Let him live. Him. Let him. Live. He's going to kill you all. That's his right. <laughs> it's his right. <laughs> I should have backed up first. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you purposely pig penned Krillin up for this, yep. too. Like, just made him a little darker because of the ash. Yep. I never noticed that. Nothing but clothes with stab marks. It's free. Calling it's free. Oh, yeah. this. Ah, damn it. He killed my star battle back. My entire fantasy team just went straight to hell. This was a joke. We kept turning Tien into God. God, yeah. God literally told me, you can't keep making tension on me. And I told him, yes, we, we can. can. Yes, we can. <laughs> and will. Every, this is every time he ends on screen, he's going to be a little bit more you. Yep. Which was, by the way, we love God. <laughs> But just having him, the fact that Tien has a has a has a fantasy ba battle ball team is like, yeah. I mean, what he, else? Is he, he plays fantasy battle ball, yeah. And w during rest mode, between working out, he's like, uh, honestly, I think it's I think it makes sense that if he were to have a hobby, it would probably be sports related. Yeah, yeah. they're all athletes. Are you serious? What? The uh, third eye movies. <laughs> no, you don't. I love always oh, so how you worked with the third eye. Here we go. Yeah. This is it. This is okay. It's so time for. Right, Rice Pirate and Zito, right? Yes, yes. Oh this my is God, Nick, Nick Lard. So you may know him from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. He plays yep. a pretty t titular character in that. And Chris Zito, who has done much voice work for us and many different streams. This entire, I don't remember how this came about. It I, was it was brainchild of him and me because yes. we were looking for a way to uh, wrap the episode. All we had was this footage you, I, of Cell devouring a town. You, but what's a fun way we could do that? Radio hosts. I think with I'm trying to remember what came of this because my memory's so blurry on this part. But I remember you guys were kind of selling me on the idea, and I was like, okay, okay, I, I kind of like this because originally I'm, you know me, I like, I gotta go for the laugh. That's that's how I am. Dramas. I think there's plenty to laugh at here, yeah, but also, this, oh my god, I guess it's horrible. So I think the absurdity actually. of it, it also kind of expands the world a little bit more. So you, once again, more of the citizens. One of my big things with horror movies, and I think you can know, you know this, Nick. About I think you know this as well. I don't like seeing innocent people get hurt. You know, like, I actually just like it when someone's done nothing wrong, something bad happens to them, because I don't like that, the reality of that. So innocent people being killed in such a violent way is actually really fucked in my head. So that's why I find this so freaky. Even if there's some humor to it. A lot of it is off-screen violence. That's, but that's almost scarier because you're imagining what it is instead of physically seeing it. That's why people, this is, this is why this scene is really freaky to me. I'm happy that I got to be the killer in it, but still I look back at that scene with... Mick Lar and the way he delivers as uh, T TJ, mm -hmm. I believe it is TJ. TJ and the Wombat. TJ, TJ and the Wombat. TJ's scream is so blood curdlingly terrifying. I like that's how good of an actor Mick is. Here, here, let's play it out, and yep. we'll talk yeah. more about it after. Yeah, absolutely. Just ninety-eight point five. There's Mick. Mick where TJ and, and the, the Wombat. 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 Me so horny. Fucking morning zoo. <laughs> I, I kept like no, me so horny has been there. It's, it's raining, man! We're in the middle of an impossible also, Cad Cannon is wombat is an actual wombat. So sure maybe. <laughs> Good edit. And in local sports news, many of our listeners are still waiting at the stadium for the East City the? Westmen who are becoming increasingly... This is freaky. Yeah. Probably in some traffic. Uh, uh, I see the socks uh, uh, drip uh, uh, away. Uh, me, that makes me shiver when I see that. Sorry, there's something I want to point out because then this means a lot to me. Okay. So... Uh, I, um, so how far back? I actually combined shots here. You do? So, I can't remember which which is which. I think it's... Uh, no, it, no go forward. No, go forward. All right, so this shot here, mm -hmm. um, as he's being uh, absorbed, I can't remember if it's this shot or the next shot, but it falls like yeah, that. Okay, yeah, that 
is actually the color of the uh, the shirt there was different. Oh. I made it the the same blue as the pants I did because I didn't okay. want. I, I wanted to imply it was the same person as it was falling down because. And then I, they all see what he looks like. Yeah. And that's I, scary. Okay, I'm, so this is why this is so freaky to me because I did not know that was an edit. I thought that was actually the shot of the footage. So it's like there are a lot of these things where like I didn't even know it was mm -hmm. an edit when he's done with yeah. it. Like there are a lot that you don't explain that are edits that you just went through the extra effort to do. And you know, there's no bigger compliment because you know what they say: if nobody knows what you're doing, uh, no, if you're doing it right, nobody knows you're doing anything I at all. I always say this when people say your show was so good. Why was it? I'm like, well, that's what happens when you have a professional movie caliber sound editor and visual editor editing everything. Yeah, your sound design has been all, always been. Trust don't me. listen to either of these. I'm not. Professional level, but I am. Hire this passionate. man! Do you ever watch Helsing Bridge? He did all the audio for that. All the blood, all the guns. Oh, oh I did not imagine what he could do with that. an actual budget. They're just scared. Good shot. By the way, the the like They're just using, the, using both the scream from the radio and the woman at the mm -hmm. same time. I am proud of that. This is. I think this is one of the best. Is this, I don't see this as humor. This is like when we are at our best as directors of an actual scary scene, in my opinion. I, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Yes. Oh, I mean, it's like a great blend. Mm. And, and I like how it just gets quieter. What can TJ and the Wombat do for you? Hello there, I. Scott. Hi, Kaiser, at you. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there, okay. That was quick. Could you play Video Kill the Radio Star? Wow. Okay, so here we go. Hold on, I want to I want to make yeah. sure that people yeah, yeah, catch yeah, yeah. this. La Nucere. La yes, this was actually mentioned by Marin in mm -hmm. episode Please thirty. Please make sure you made those reservations for La Nucere. Yep. Yes, which means the tight anus or tight ass. It's an and this exact restaurant would come back in, in uh, the Dragon Shorts Android eighteen. Yep. Yep. When they actually go to La Nucere, because Krillin has had that reservation no, no, this for is a not, while. This is not officially a place that is obviously edited on there, and this is a created location, but we've now used this location three times for being a fictitious place. I'm so happy. Yeah, it was your joke, too. It was your we pun. We usually only do the top 20. But today, we'll make an exception for you. Killer. Yep. Oh, shucks. Thanks, fellas. I'll, I'll be, be right in. in. What does he mean? What? Oh, God. Oh, God. What is that thing? No! No, get away! Oh, I love you. Goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps. The radio star. Pictures came and broke your heart. Still get goosebumps from that performance so, from Mick. Uh, so I, I grew up, like, I was in a radio family. Like, my dad was, like, the vice president of a radio station. Mm. Uh, and I, I listened to the radio, like, all the damn time, especially those morning zoo shows mm. when I'm on my way to school in the morning. Shot, shot. So, uh... Shock, shock. This this was kind of like a personal kind of thing for me, where it was just like, okay, how would these radio people like be like, you know, what would they be talking about? They'd be talking about sports. They'd be talking about weather. My one and they'd be doing like, you know, the the morning top ten, and somebody calls in. All right, let's. What the fuck is? Oh the, shit! The only thing I can even say I helped out with this scene was I was in like, here's the things, the annoying things they need to play, and I gave down the list of all the annoying radio isms they needed. That was the only thing I provided was all the, it's a, a me so horny. I'm like, yeah, those, 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 like I, I was pitching those too. Like, remember, I was no, I, big okay, on the morning zoo. I, I, okay, but I was the horny line then. That was me. Like that one's got to be in there because I was everywhere in Canadian radio. Me so horny. You remember that one line from I mean, that one I, movie that's really yes, appropriate? Yes, I, 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 I know. <laughs> Exactly what it is. I'm, I'm not entirely sure it was you that so the thing. I remember because okay. I felt so fight, embarrassed. Fight, 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 fight. fight. Ah, oh, this isn't good. This, it, hold it, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I just win and. Yeah. What, yeah if I, what if I win the belt and then I beat everybody? That's a great I, idea. <laughs> so I will say the editing for that whole scene, when I was going through it, there was a part of me that was wondering, like, is this. Actually, a little like actually kind of a little creepy. Yes. Yeah. And then afterwards, I was like, holy wow. I hope that hits as well for the audience as it did Dude, it for did. like uh, there's there's a horror movie out there that is entirely set in a radio station called Pontypool and it's actually pretty good. It's it's about like a a weird zombie apocalypse that kind of happens, mm. uh, and, and everything you experience is from the inside of the uh, radio station. But they have a communication, everybody. Yeah, so. but so most of the stuff you get is just from like audio outside of the radio station, and mm -hmm. every now and again something like happens inside that's like ooh, weird. We we're Kind of in a horror kick here. I think. Do we have an outro scene on this one? Yes. Oh, okay. Then yes. We actually should play it because. 
I mean, it's, yo, 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 this is my, oh, this is my, this yeah, is my impression of somebody. DJ. I took over Brother, the radio I'm station. I'm so happy with the song yeah. choices. Oh, so the, this, I tried. Yeah, you looked up the song choices for this. Nowhere to go. Who am I aping here? Casey Kasem. Casey Kasem, right. That's not in the lineup. Speaking of the lineup, in the next half hour, I've got Like the Wolf by Duran Duran, killing me softly with his sound by Lauren Hill, followed by All by Myself. Now don't touch that dial. Also, I was on a weird Oingo Boingo kick at the time. So, so, so was I. So I'm, I'm glad we got Dead Man Party in the background. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I was super into um, into Oingo Boingo at the time too. I so say super into. But yeah, we have it. We have it. Yeah, no, like really, really, like because okay. uh, uh, one of my friends. Um, I'd just been introduced to them not too like mm. long before this. And so when you were like Oingo Boingo, I'm like, fuck yes, Dead Man's I, Party. Yeah, absolutely. I, 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 yeah, I enjoy Zendata Mandata. Yeah. <laughs> For me, I like I, I remember writing this and was like I was like I was like all right, let's listen to Casey Kasem. All right, that's not in the lineup. Thank you so much. And now we have a letter from an adoring fan, dear Cell. I just think you're the best. Why can't you suck me up in your amazing suck vortex? Thank you so much for mailing me. I want you to know that I will kill you slowly once I get to your town. Thanks for listening. <laughs> but yeah, uh, a great way to wrap that episode and just show how terrifying Cell is to the populace. Uh, I, I, I like being able to see what the citizens are up to, how they react to the world, and sell. I have a I have a comparison for what he is okay. at this stage. He is two characters that have met each other. Oh. He is Bugs Bunny meets Freddy Krueger. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> Freddy Krueger meets Bugs Bunny is actually pretty accurate at the point. I just point. If there was he's, a scene he's a where deadly, just, deadly loony too. If he was just a scene where he just goes, Ah, oh, Trunks, aren't I a stinker? Mwah! It just pushes them away. <laughs> ah. oh, was that loud? Yeah, it was super duper loud. But you're wearing a headset. I know. What? Well, while Kaiser recovers from his uh, ear damage, we'll let you guys get on with your day. But we'll be back Holy next star. time on this thing that we're doing. Right here on Team Four Star Bento. That's not even... Uh. Why do you always fuck everything up? <laughs> I'm a streamer. And a VTuber. Damn it, Taka. <laughs> God dang it, Taka. I don't understand this VTuber nonsense. <laughs>